Hi, I'm Anna Nimura of CryptoChicks and we are here live at uh, Blockchain Futurist Conference. And uh, we have a chance to speak with uh, Nilu Ravai and from Blog Geeks. Welcome here. Thanks so much for having me. Well, it's, um, are you enjoying the conference? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. It's probably the biggest conference I've been to. Like, yes. it's, yeah, and it's a beautiful location. It's so. a big crowd. And yeah. uh, Blog Geeks, um, you are going to have also a speaking engagement? Yeah, yeah, in a, in a little bit, yeah. Yes. So, Blog Geeks um, concentrate mostly on the educational uh, yeah. platform. And uh, it's, it seems that it's a platform for developers. Is it truly only for developers only or also for casual blockchain enthusiasts and, and, and lovers? Yeah, um, well, so we started out being very developer focused and we, uh, we have a lot of technical courses on our platform, but as we started, we kind of noticed that there was a lot more different kinds of demand. Yes. More just from people, even developers, the biggest thing they were worried about was kind of understanding the fundamentals of blockchain not even the coding side, right? So we started creating a lot of content around that, a lot of content around enterprise, people who want to use blockchain for business. Um, so now it's basically for anybody who wants to learn about blockchain. Um, and we also have a lot of free content as well. Uh, we have guides, we have videos on YouTube that if somebody just is kind of a more casual learner and just wants to learn a little bit, they can kind of go there and check it out. So simply for someone who is just starting, they can start with your platform and uh, just go through it and see what they can learn and then yeah. go from that. Exactly, yeah, we're gonna have different tracks. So for example, let's say if you're a business person um, and you wanna understand how you can use blockchain for your business, you can take the business track and kind of, we have courses tailored to your needs or if you're a developer or if you're a more casual learner, there's some fundamental courses that don't involve any coding, but then teach you about blockchain concepts. Well, we are living in a very rapid pace environment. Yeah. Uh, how important it is to stay open-minded and you know kind of hungry for knowledge it's very very important I mean it's very important in general but in blockchain specifically because things are moving so fast in one month you'll notice a lot of technologies have changed so that fast even within one month you yeah. can see the change yeah especially in like libraries or code bases and stuff is it yeah. because blockchain is still um, kind of at the developing stage. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's There's a still a lot that we don't know, right? And there's a lot of, it's just being built up. Once it gets built and it's at that kind of maintenance stage, then it's going to slow down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you have um, a feature platform which is called Bounty One. Yeah. Bounty One Audit. Um, what is it? So Bounty One Audit, um, right now one of the biggest things with smart contracts is uh, smart contract security and smart contract auditing. Obviously, I'm sure you've heard of these. It's a, like a validation. Well, basically what it is, is because smart contracts are dealing with money, and because once you s deploy a smart contract, you can't take it back, you can't change it, um, there's lots of places for people to exploit it and take money out of the smart contract. So the auditing or security process, what it does is it, it basically is a double security check to make sure that there, are no, there are no holes in your smart contract that people can essentially exploit and take the money out of your smart contract. And what bound, and so the way that this has been done typically is there are centralized companies that you will pay a lot of money to and they will take your contract and they'll look at it and they'll come up with whatever bugs are if there's any security holes. But what Bounty One Audit is doing is it's decentralizing that process. So now we have like a decentralized system of auditors. So you essentially submit your, um, your smart contract that you want to get audited and then these group of decentralized auditors will essentially all look at it and they'll and whoever can find bugs with it will get a bounty, essentially. So it is a verification process? Yeah, it's a verification process for making sure that your smart contract doesn't have any security holes in it. And, and it's done also by the ones who are authorized to do it, right? So they are like specific individuals who are yeah, making this so, verification? So the specific individuals are the ones who, anyone can join the platform, and then it's more of a reputation system, right? So if you uh, looked at a contract and people have said that you were correct, you gain a reputation, and then now you become one of the special auditors who can, um, who can so have the right like to look a at it. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And it's a lot cheaper and a lot faster for somebody who wants to uh, make sure their smart contract is secure without having to go through that cumbersome process of like going to a centralized company. So that actually gives you one of the solutions for the blockchain. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's great. Yeah. So it's good to know that blog geeks are actually offering that. Yeah. Um, so Nilo, um, you have.
have a background, actually artistic background. <laughs> and you even had your um, short feature film presented in the prestigious Cannes Fes Can, uh, Festival. So, um, is this the same creative process when you working as a teacher, as a, as a blockchain programmer, and you're doing that as you're doing artistic uh, ventures? Well, a lot of, there's a lot of differences, obviously, but two of the things that I would say are, or the biggest thing that I would say is very similar is just how fast-paced the industry is. So in the filmmaking industry, what you're doing is um, everyone has to do everything at the same time. You're all working on this project together, and it's a big mess, but everyone kind of works together, right? So, um, and I feel like definitely in the blockchain space specifically, it's very much that same mentality of just being like, we have to learn this stuff, we have to like, hack some stuff together, we have to build things quickly. Um, and so someone who is comfortable with change and who's comfortable with kind of like not knowing things will basically thrive in both industries. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, good to know. So yeah. the platform is open also very much for artists as well. A lot of yeah, artists are exactly. signing up for that. Yeah. And uh, if anything, right now it's just through the blockchain, um, you know, blockchain applications. They can also explore yeah. uh, the venues of um, you know how to build their business artistically yeah, and creatively, exactly. and how to even like apply the creativity to what they are doing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nilo, it was truly a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much yes, for having me. Yes, enjoy the rest me. of yeah. the conference. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks. Thanks.